joining us, we have Sue Freeman from the Avery County Chamber of Commerce. Thank you so much for being with us today. Thank you for having me today. This is so nice. Well, we Absolutely. love having you on this show, and we're very excited to hear about everything that's going on in Avery County. I think we have more than eight minutes that that's going to take because there's <laughs> always something happening in Avery County. Uh, we're, if we're not in the middle of an event, we're playing an event. We just had our big open house and our membership drive. We had, you've been to our chamber office. It's yes. in uh, the Tyne Castle shops in Banner Elk. And we had close to 100 folks that came, business wow. partners. We gained eight new businesses from it. And um, yeah, it really feeds back to what we're doing for our community. So yeah, that was nice. Fantastic. Mm -hmm. Now tell us a little bit about that event. I assume that's an annual thing? It's an annual, fifth annual. Wow. And it's grown and gotten better as we've gone through. Uh, we had many of our local restaurants and uh, businesses that either contributed food or we had many of our wineries there. And I know that's one thing I want you to do th this year with me. We have the High Country Trolley Wine Tour that we started last year. And it's a neat touch to the community, more than we ever expected when we first started it. We work with the Air Haven Trolley in Blowing Rock. And he comes to Banner Elk. And what we do is we capture about three or four of our wineries and we go on this wine tour. We have lunch with one of our restaurants. And many of the times the folks got off and went and searched out one of their uh, realtors. And so we never thought that would be a touch market that we would reach, but right. it has been really fun. Fantastic. And who could not spend the day at the winery and have fun? I mean, that's... Exactly. Well, yeah. yeah. It's a great way to spend the day. <laughs> but we, we, so that's one of our many um, things that we, we initiated last year. But the um, getting back to the annual house, uh, open house, that was our fifth year of doing that. And, um, you know, we hope next year to even make it better. Fantastic. Now talk with us a little bit about this upcoming year. I know you guys are doing a lot of planning right now. What do people have to look forward to in Avery County? Well, the whole goal with the Chamber, because 86% of folks who come to Avery County are coming there to escape reality, as I call it. It's a <laughs> recreational, you know, but cell phones don't work, GPSs really don't work. It's a great place to connect with family and friends, and that is one of our taglines, because it's North Carolina Mountains Playground. Uh, you know, between skiing and hiking and um, Grandfather Mountain and Linville Caverns, there's something for everybody that you can do with your family and friends or just by yourself. Don't need family and friends at that point. <laughs> just go get away for a weekend by yourself. Yeah, you know, and it's been known. We've had people, we had about 9,000 folks that walked through the Avery Chamber door last year. Um, so, and I was surprised. Tubing was a big um, market this year. Zip lining, I would never have thought that in the dead of winter. <laughs> but we had folks that came and they were having a great time at Hawk's Nest. They came back in and reported what fun they had. And uh, yeah, it was just neat, all the different activities. So as we plan ahead, we are always trying to um, bring folks into our second home market, uh, relocation uh, market, and just have them something to do while they're here. We are in the middle, we are starting plans for the 37th annual Woolly Worm Festival. Yeah, and that's so plans start early. We do. We we don't really stop. <laughs> we never stop. And what's wild? A lot of people think that they mm -hmm. think that you know you plan an event within one or two days because right. that's what it takes. Right. But it's a whole year in gathering the proper vendors. Um, even for vendors, for example, woolly worm are more fun vendors. So you can have high end to just woolly worm critters all over you, mm -hmm. and or the master craft festival will bring in the ones that are looking for a huge market of you know, the upper scale items, you right. know, handcrafted items only. And so that's a different touch market. We're working with the Pet Fest again. That's fun. And hopefully we'll have a big surprise for everybody. Stay tuned on that one. Okay. Um, just working with all the communities. We are the county chamber. And so with that said, there's so many things that go on that a lot of people don't always get involved in, but we try to market the entire region because we feel like for not touching even the large and small markets, we're not doing our job as a chamber. And going back to tubing, that is something I've always wanted to do, and I have never had the opportunity to do it just because I stay wonderful. so busy. But I'm going to have to make time to do this before it closes for the winter. Oh, you should. And it was wild. To. One day I was at the chamber by myself, and we had a, I mean, a flood of people who came to the chamber door, and they wanted to um, go tubing that day. Mm -hmm. But they were packed, and so they had to wait to the next session to actually go tubing, which is so fun. And then you think about Beach Mountain that has their um, little snow tubing type thing for kids 12 and under. Mm -hmm. And that's fun because we get people from Atlanta and all over the area who will drive five to six hours for their kids to experience snow <laughs> and they will go there. I know, crazy to believe. Hello. And these kids are having the best time. You know, and the parents are having the best time. And it's a right. big 
time to make a memory. It looks like a lot of fun, all the pictures I've seen, even in the brochures and stuff. I mean, it just looks so much fun. Tubing's fun. Yes. And what's nice about tubing, too, they have different, like, speeds you can go on. Mm -hmm. So if you're a novice person, you could do one thing. If you really want to go for the full blown experience, <laughs> there's another experience for that. But yeah, from, um, you know, there's so many different areas, from Jonas Bridge snow tubing, a smaller venue on Jonas Ridge, of course, but it, they have a they they had a base better than some of the bigger um, industry areas at one point. But there's something if you want to go the longest, the shortest, the closest. There's sure. something for everybody. There's yeah. something for everybody. Yeah. See, mm -hmm. my kids ski or excuse me, they snowboard, and my husband skis, and I don't do any of that. So I'm thinking maybe tubing, tubing would be down tubing my alley. is fun. It really is. Yes. No skills needed. Just fun. Hey, there you go. Exactly. <laughs> All for me <laughs> there. <laughs> but, but I have to ask you, okay, so the family's out there snow tubing. I know where you're thinking on this. They're snooping. And what are you doing? I am sitting by the fireplace, <laughs> or I send them all to the slopes and I stay at home. <laughs> <laughs> That's not bad, so. do either. You know, another thing that we're really big for, like I said, the wineries and the breweries mm -hmm. have taken hold here in our, our county. And it's neat to see uh, the people that will come in. We have a little wine trail that we've put into our uh, directory that we're working on. And people will take it and they'll just click off the little wineries that they're experiencing. And everyone has a different item that they can offer. And the wine tour, getting back to that, whether you, um, you know, drink wine or don't drink wine, that's fine. We've had people that have gone on just for the experience. Right. Yeah, that sounds like a lot of fun. Yeah. So our, yeah, it is a lot of fun. Yeah. Um, so I invite you as my guest to come on behalf of the Avery County Chamber. Oh, come right. and hang out with us. I think we accept. Um, uh, yes. Yeah. And like I said, we like it. Oh yeah, our events. Uh, we're going to have our business expo in April. Uh, then we move into our Taste of Avery event in June. We moved it back by um, into the month of June versus the end of May. Um, and that brings in a great appetite for your palate. Neat, neat, neat. And then we go into our Master Craft Festivals, and then we have a new event along with the High Country Trolley Wine event we did last year, the Distillery event. The Spirit of Avery, and the Spirit of Avery brought in thir well, brought eight of the 13 distilleries recognized by the state of North Carolina into Camp Yonanoki um, down near uh, Linville, and that was fun. And then we move into our fall events, and then Woolly Worm, and then annual dinner, and then we start all over. You so guys stay so busy. Whole year we planned. do. We do, and you have to start early because you want to make sure you get the right market of folks who come and of course experiences everything. Yes. I mean your kids go snow tubing for that experience and you stay home by the fireplace for that experience. Mm -hmm. Yes. And it's neat to see people off the mountain that don't have that. So when they come it's so fun to see their faces. And we've touched a lot with our international market this year and that's been interesting to see they spend more, they stay longer um, and they just love the high country once yes. they can find us. Because GPSs don't work. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> Once you get there, you're set. Now, give us a little update on the Woolly Worm Festival from this past year. Okay. Actually, and this is where I have to thank the Division of Tourism. They came to the chamber last year, and they said, we want to nominate the Woolly Worm as one of the top ten fall festivals. But this LGA group came in and they said, well, we need your help. So with their help and images and um, script, we were actually pulled into the top ten festival, which wow. gave us, yeah, in the south, that's which incredible. gave us over three to four hundred thousand dollars of free press you know because when you go online to certain publications you know you could never get on or afford to so this year we're going to even be bigger and better being the 37th annual uh, we had our largest day ever of attendance on Saturday um, there's always parking there's always ways <laughs> to get in there um, we make sure there's something for everybody again we want to make sure that's a touch point for every part of the family um, and so that's a lot of fun have you raised a worm? Never. No, no girls? I haven't either, i got to be honest. <laughs> I'm always working so hard. But honestly, I found a worm just two days ago, and so we've called him um, <laughs> Rio our worm, and we're hoping that Rio, he's supposed to go into hibernation, but we don't know if he's stronger than that. Okay. So we're feeding him strawberries and leaves and that oh, sort of funny. thing. Yeah, he's having know. a great time living in the chamber. I bet so. Yeah, so <laughs> there's always something going on. Yeah, what a life, strawberries and leaves. Yeah, well, right now what we're doing, yeah. yeah, for him. So I don't know what's going to happen to him. I hope he, you know, I hope he's okay. Yeah. Um, what we're doing right now, though, is very near and dear to us, along with many chambers. Um, we're having our membership drive. Okay. And it's going to wrap up on February 14th with 10% off, making it a very sweet deal. 
and um, we are wanting to have close to 400 members by the time we draw this near us because we're in a smaller community. I mean, we have 17,000 folks that live in Avery County, Avery County year-round. I mean, that's small compared to Boone and Wilkesboro and all that. But we have a great foundation, and we're always looking for different businesses that will build into our foundation. Um, and we do a lot of crazy things to promote them. Uh, we feel if we're not doing our job in promoting them that we're not doing our job again as a chamber, you know. So what's the process of being a member of the chamber? Um, if your breathing is good. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I'm kidding, I'm kidding, I'm kidding. You know our requirements, but that is one of them. Um, we like active members. Um, we, uh, you have to do business within Avery County. That is one of the major criteria that we do because it doesn't really benefit anyone if we can't reach you or get a hold of you. Right. Uh, we want to make it that if you're a small business, most of our businesses in Avery County are one and two business owned, people owned, and we're entrepreneurs. Mm -hmm. You know, so it's very much fun to see someone who's come to the area and they want to recreate themselves or they have a vision for themselves. And we want to support them through web, uh, online. All of our members by the end of March will have their own landing page. So, and I don't know if you guys know this or not, but many people don't realize when their websites go down, they don't have websites, they're not tech savvy. And so you try to work with a bigger organization that will give you that that bump. Right. You know, so we ask for images from them. Uh, we gather their all their key finder words. So if someone's typing in plumber, they're typing in snow tubing. <laughs> they're typing in just winter gear to go with my snow tubing and hot chocolate. Right. You know, all those things can be captured just by the you know keystroke here or there. Um, our chamber office is located in Tyne Castle Shops. We are open seven days a week. Um, and that's where many chambers aren't. We're, most people come for the weekend. Right. So worst thing that could happen to you is to come there without your GPS or your phone working and you have no idea where to get to that right. weird location. We had a couple came to the chamber office last Saturday and uh, they were from Charlotte and they had six little kids in their car and he and his wife thought they would be sweet and bring them up. He goes, we're lost. <laughs> I'm like, you're not lost, you're found. You're at the chamber. And so we were able to lead him right down the road to Hawk's Nest. And he, that's what he was looking for. And, and we actually called ahead of them and made sure that they were accepting, you know, people at that time to go. And it, we offered a place to eat. And so it's just kind of like, you know, being of service to them. Absolutely. All kinds of information. Mm -hmm. We work a lot with the Div uh, Division of Tourism, mm -hmm. the uh, North Carolina airports, and the North Carolina visitor centers. So if you're traveling anywhere in the state of North Carolina, you can find us. Perfect. Perfect. Mm -hmm. yeah. Well, it sounds like you guys have a great year ahead. Always so busy. We really appreciate you making time for us today. Well, I expect to see you guys this summer on the High Country Trolley Wine Tour. And even this winter, if there's something we can help you do and have fun, I'm sure to be glad to help you. And come to all of our events. I mean, we'll take good care of you and uh, make sure you have a great experience. Sounds Wonderful. great. Mm -hmm. Well, thank you so much, Sue, and we will talk with you again soon. And we will be back right after these messages with more of the Mountain Television Network.